How did making your first feature film and then getting feedback on that film impact how you write things now? Oh, oh, hugely. I mean, oh, massively. I mean, because I, I mean, with making drifts, I mean, I, you know, I'm gonna be very, very honest. I was not focusing that much on screenplay, on narrative, on pedestrian plotting, on character development. I was very, very much more focused on a cold exercise in style, and like that's like very much making scene after scene of stuff that I love and trying to like have a thin story like stitched together with like duct tape and like that's like that was 100% the intention for that movie um but then like I mean I I, I think like we were getting like a lot of like feedback like uh in the editing of it and and um you know I, I knew that you know there were some irreparable problems in the in, in the movie that were dictated by like the weakness of the screenplay and you know kind of like you know, shot myself in the foot a little bit by rushing into it a little bit, and and because uh, you know people were just so they were just taking the movie so seriously, and like they were just like being so like film school analytical about so many things, like um, um, you know, because the movie's like you know it's it's a I mean if there is a story, it, like the, the the kind of story it is, it's a movie that kind of like it's one of those kind of movies where it starts off one thing and then by the end it's a very much different thing. It's like keeps on transforming itself. It's sort of like this like hybrid genre mashup kind of story, um, which is definitely the movie I wanted to make at the time. And, and I, I still think it's a fun picture when I watch it, a uh, fun movie. Um, picture, I sound like I'm in the 40s when I just said that. Like, but, <laughs> but I mean like, but, um, but yeah, I mean like, I, yeah, but like with Monster Party, I mean like, you know, that was like, a, that was a really wonderful experience because like now I have like, you know, there's a, a much more pressure on that movie. I have a lot of producers involved, a lot of like great people involved, a lot of people that are much more experienced than I am, people that are extremely brutally honest from the word go, from the writing stage all the way through to the filming of it, to the editing of it, and to the sound, to the music, to everything. I had like people, you know, watching every element of that movie. Um, and they're all like, you know, very strong collaborators. And I really like, you know, I really loved working with these guys. and. Uh, um, but like that, I think that was great. It's like, I, I think like with Drifter, I like, I wanted like, I, I think I maybe, maybe I like, that, that's what I like. I think that was like, I was always wanting like those like heavy hitting cutthroat producers. They were gonna say like, Chris, this is not working. You know, like we have to, you know, we have to like, you know, fix this because you're gonna kill your, you're gonna shoot yourself in the foot later on, you know, in the editing. So, and I had a lot of that in Monster Party. Like, you know, I had a lot of people like, um, um, you know, cause you get so inside the movie and, and, uh, and you need those outside perspectives. And um, you know, I didn't really have much of that on Drifter. You know, I didn't really have, you know, because we were kind of all friends with each other and um, mm. kind of all kind of came up together. So it, you know, they weren't being as harsh as they might have should should have been. And uh, but Monster Party, you know, that that was not the case. You know, and um, so but like, but I think I think that was great in the long run because at the end of the day, it's the movie. It's the it's not your auteur personality. It's not. It's not like, you know, you're, you know, a cool, cool style. St I mean, it's the movie. I mean, at a certain point, it's not even your movie anymore. It's like, the, you know, it has to be as accessible as possible. And I think, uh, and so that Must Party really was a great transition for me to, it was almost like a new chapter in my life to, to really kind of like explore new territory and really, um, you know, go back to like, I guess the roots of like um, uh, the storytelling that I was attracted to and, uh, and um, and just really approach it from a much more mature angle, and um, and you know, kind of have the soundtrack and the style sort of like organically climb inside the movie a little bit more, and not sort of hijack the movie like Drifter was doing. And um, uh, but yeah, no, I mean, like, uh, I mean, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of the experience of Monster Boy. I'm very proud of the movie. Yeah. Do you think most of the characters, like, let's say your main character in in any one of your features? Do they really go through like the hero's journey? Because it, it's it, in some ways it, it's different. A horror movie is not going to end necessarily in a great light where yeah. this, this hero has realized their potential or saved something, and, and it's it's often not the case. Yeah, I mean, like I mean, Drifter, I was like trying to do that, but, but like Moss Party definitely, I, I would say, has a hero's journey story. Um, uh, I mean, like I, I I do, but I am very attracted to like stories that are populated by um i, I like like morality tales I, I like movies that have like a moral tightrope that character that like uh, the characters are walking that a lead character might do something that you might not totally agree with that might be a little messed up but um and i'm gonna challenge you if you still want to keep going on that ride with them um 
I mean, like a movie that, I mean, a really random example that I bring up because it, it's so notorious for being so bad it's good, even though I think it's a genuinely really fun movie is Showgirls, you know, which I love Showgirls, it's great. Um, like, I'm not saying that ironically, I really enjoy that movie. Mm-hmm. The first time I saw it was with my mother, it was a very ra- weird experience, but, <laughs> but I mean, like, w- what's really fascinating about that movie that I am trying to do, and certainly try to do with Monster Party a lot, was um, every character in that movie is kind of like, little like, you know, kind of like, has badness in them. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, they might disguise it, but they're all kind of like very, yeah. they have bad, bad qualities about them. Even like Naomi, like the main character. And there's like the only innocent character in that movie is um, like the girl is like the makeup artist and she gets punished for being innocent in this world of horrible people. And she gets punished quite horribly. And people forget about that really horrible scene in the third act with her and the rock star guy. And like, that's a very eye-opening, vicious scene that she gets punished for being good, being a good, pure person around these terrible people, including the lead character. And like, that's, that's sort of like what I try to dabble in with Monster Party. Like, the, the, where it's like, because, you know, it's sort of like very flawed people against even more flawed people. And the people that you would think would not be flawed are way more flawed than you could have possibly imagined. And, but there are a couple very innocent people in the movie that, that um, get extremely punished for being very genuine. And, the, and like, that's like, that's the kind of, I mean, that, that, that's always been, I don't, I, I, I mean, it sounds like a sick way of looking at things, but that's always been sort of like the, that's always been sort of like the, 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 the outlook that I've always like saw the world in, you know, like we're, you know, just sometimes like good deeds go, you know, like Leo said, so like no good deed goes unpunished or whatever. And like, and, and just innocent people paying the price for being what they are and bad people sort of having this power and like, you know, I just, the moral corruption of um, of the world and like in our society and our generation and I'm and, and I'm always like trying to make some sort of like bold statement about how I see I'm not just trying to make these sort of like cool genre movies and, and violence and cool stuff and like I'm I mean that's all fun but it's like I'm I, I am really trying to like sneak in like a very bold statement about how I. Uh, um, see the world because a lot of it's very personal. I mean, like as whacked out as some of them, some of the stuff is. It's, it is very, very personal about like the kind of tone and the kind of um, the nature of certain main char- lead characters that we're supposed to be rooting for and like sort of like. I mean, every one of them sort of has. Yeah, I mean, I think like when you're making movies, I think you when you're writing stories, I think you really have to uh, you have to put all your good traits on screen, but you also have to put a lot of your bad traits on screen. And no mm. one wants to see just good traits. I mean, you have to mm. almost embarrass yourself by putting in really bad traits about yourself and um and uh and and that, I don't know that's just like I mean do it in like a very fun kind of accessible way but like um but yeah I mean like, that's like that's that's always been the sort of like um kind of th- those kind of stories I've always been really attracted to or like Carrie yeah I mean like Carrie's great right just being punished at home being punished I mean at that's the high school. such a cynical story you know and then she you know, and then just ha- has no, has no, um, there's, she has no other options but to like just terrorize her prom and then she pays the price for it. And like, I mean, that's such like a sad, what is, that's a great morality tale. And I mean, I, there, you know, there's, I don't know, there's the kind of stories that I just think like, you know, because everyone has flaws and like, you know, I, I, and everyone has like darkness inside of them. And some people do a better job clothing, like disguising them. But, but I, I don't know, I just, I just, I, I like movies that really kind of like, push uh, the boundaries of like what um, our like, like protagonists are capable of and uh, um, sort of like, I don't know, maybe somewhat bad people against worse people or something. You know, mm-hmm. like that's, I just always been, I just always been attracted to that kind of storytelling, you know? Right, and when you see the bad people are the ones that are sort of the stereotypical what you think that if you saw them in a dark alley and sometimes those are actually aren't the ones that are the worst yeah it's the ones that you would think are a little more trustworthy oh yeah i mean i mean like i you know like one of my favorite directors is uh larry clark and like you know how he films like bully and kids and ken park and all that and like those films are really very disturbing experiences but like they are characters that are i mean like I, I grew up very much around those kind of people. Like my brother was very much like he he was very much friends with those kind of kids. Um, uh, so I, I just like 
I think a lot of that kind of stuff, like hearing really revolting things that these kids would say and seeing stuff that they would do and hearing stories about them, uh, what they would do. And, and uh, I think a lot of that um, stuff, like I, I, I try to translate uh, in, in sort of like a, you know, I guess cinematic format and try to go back to that kind of, that's just like, I don't know, that's just the way it just comes from like, up, you know, just growing up and, and the kind, just the kind of people I was around in high school and all that, and just the kind of, things that I saw and, and um, you know, just the, yeah, I mean, like I, I just, and just, just really, you know, disturbing, tragic things that are happening uh, with people. And, and um, so that was always, um, I mean, I just, it, you know, it's it, at a certain point, you can't quite see the world in any other way until, until you get into like your later years. But like, but I, I'm just the, like, the, I'm just like very stemming on like how I, how, how the world was around me growing up, like the kind of people that I um, interacted with or the kind of people that I grew up around and the like, people's houses that I went to and just the stuff I saw and like all these like really whacked out like dysfunctional things that were happening inside these houses and, and these kids and and, um, and so yeah, I mean like I, I'm just, that, that's like, I don't know, I'm just very, I mean I'm very attracted, I'm just very attracted to that, 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 kind of, that kind of stuff and I like, just really making it as grounded as possible but you know, in like a cinematic, cinematic kind of way.